Good evening, Simon here, Explosive Action, with a DVD and Blu-ray update for the end of June. It's been 20 days since the last update, and I've got a few things to show. And uh, I did not put them in any order, so let's just get cracking. Number one, Howl. I uh, got this in a JB sale. Um, been eyeing it off for a few years. A UK uh, werewolf film, set primarily on a train. Apparently it's a mix of practical and CG effects, and uh, has had pretty good write-ups. So yeah, look forward to checking out Howl, and as it says, from the special effects creators of The Descent, which was a really good film. So hopefully that is as well. So I also hopefully think Don't Breathe is a good film. Um, I know it's quite a you know, big name film that's uh, been out for a, a little while now um, from the creators of the Evil Dead remake, which I liked. Many didn't, many did. Um, but even if it stands alone as its own film, disregarding uh, Evil Dead, I still thought it was, uh, as in the original, I still thought it was a good film. Um, and, well, Don't Breathe is uh, a film from the creators of that. And I know very little about it. It was, again, in uh, JB sale and I finally picked it up. But uh, it has been certified fresh. That is often a good sign. And uh, yeah, everyone I know that's seen it has said it's pretty good. So going in fairly blind on that one. Uh, the Boy again with that one. Um, for some reason, I think I'm going to get Pin. That's what I reckon I'm going to get out of this one. I really liked Pin, so I really hope I like The Boy. Um, yeah, that's all about. I know about that one. Yeah, some Asylum trash because I inflict pain on myself. The Fast and the Fierce, which if you watch the... <laughs> look at that. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, if you watch the trailer, it doesn't look a thing like, you know, Fast and the Furious, which they're trying to rip off. It looks more like uh, Executive Decision or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's going to be a whale of a time. And <laughs> King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table. Yep, it's a modern take on King Arthur with machine guns and robot samurai like only the Asylum can give us. This should be uh, craptacular. And uh, these ones, these are the latest ones from uh, Vinninga Syndrome. I don't often buy their ones from their website, but um, this was during their uh, mid-year sale and they dropped these two new titles for good price. And this one particularly looks very interesting, Red Mob is a, um, geez, their slipcases are so thick, that's going to be hard to get out, is a um, largely forgotten Russian action film from the uh, the 80s, or was it the 90s? 92, uh, but it looks like we're shot in 82, because, um, yeah, shot in Russia. Um, I haven't chucked this on yet, because I do intend on doing a review, and I need time for that, so Red Mob, uh, you look at it on IMDb, there is nothing about it, it is genuinely... A largely forgotten action film from the 80s from Russia. Um, so Red Mob. Awesome. And the other one I picked up, Sweet Sugar. Da -da -da, look at that. Does this one come out a bit better? There you go. Sweet Sugar. Oh no. There we go. I got it back in. Yep. So this is a nice exploitation film. And uh, the trailer they showed, um, I'm, I'm getting a women in prison vibe from this one had uh, the girls in a cage and the warden was throwing uh, live cats at them and just fending off these cats which was terrible, just utterly terrible but um, yep sweet sugar, looks like it'll be fun in a bad, bad way The Forgotten Pistolero Spaghetti Western um, not entirely sure this is a legitimate release um, there is no barcode and this layout down the bottom here I've seen on a few slightly less than legitimate DVDs. But, you know, the print's not bad. It's 16 by 9 and it's probably stolen from something else. And it's a damn glossy cover. And it's a pressed disc, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, a, uh, a minor uh, spaghetti western that looks pretty cool. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I finally picked this up. It's been out of print for a while. That's how long it's taken me to pick this up. Fun, very macabre uh, TV series from, uh, what, early or mid-90s, is it? God, 2003? Really? It's very hard to tell because it, it's made to look like something from the mid-70s. Um, and, yeah, no, it's, it's completely brilliant. Um, yeah, well, it's got Matt, Matt Berry in it. 
So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a thing. You really need to check out uh, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I can't even really describe it. It's uh, it's it's a very weird dark comedy set in a hospital, um, but with the author Garth Marenghi sort of doing uh, an, an overview like surrounding story it's it's hard to explain but it's very british so uh yep definitely check it out kill squad no this is not a legit dvd um this one is completely and utterly bootleg but um it was cheap enough and it was there and i just couldn't be bothered transferring my own tape and um that that's basically the only reason i picked it up you know it was a well presented bootleg Nobody knows why this has not had a DVD or a Blu-ray yet. It really should have one. Some nice, fun, trashy, trashy action from, when are we talking, early 80s, I think, like 82 or something. Um, yep, Kill Squad needs a proper release, but that'll do. Kathy's Curse, salvaged from VHS land. Um, Severin or Severin have um, given this a really nice presentation. Um it's a, oh, I guess an, an omen slash exorcist style film, basically. It, it really does cross those two. That's what I got out of it. Um, Kathy's Curse. Uh, yeah, child gets possessed by, well, sort of a, a photo in the house. And the house itself is fairly uh, amityville. So I guess there's three films going on. Um, it's stupid. It's really, it's really quite daft. But um, I had a lot of fun with it, Kathy's Curse. Trucks. That's it, just Trucks. This is based on a Stephen King short. Um, there is another DVD that's out that's very much not legit. And I never know with these old rainbow releases how legit they are, but whatever, it's a TV movie, um, and it's in the correct aspect ratio for a TV movie. So, yeah, that's not bad. Trucks, it's um, like maximum overdrive. It's the same kind of thing again. Fender Bender, a uh, new-ish new modern slasher from, I think it was last year. Um, Shout Factory, Scream Factory release. Um, it's got a slip. The under art is vastly superior. Like, oh, that should be what's on top. This is makes me want to put the slip in the bin, to be honest. But um, Yeah, so I've, I've heard many good things about Fender Bender uh, for a, a modern slasher, so looking forward to checking that one out. I've not heard that many good things about um, Resident Evil, the final chapter, but I have gotten this far with the series, and I am going to see it through, because I do enjoy them. They are dumb as a plank, but um, that's what I wanted from these films. Um, and this is the UK Steelbook, which is a really nice one. Um, Steelbooks aren't something I intentionally always go after. I mean, I must have the Steelbook. I'm not going to open that actually too hard one-handed. But um, I got the rest on Steelbook, so I felt the absolute need, the compulsion to finish the saga on Steel. So I will check that out soon. I haven't checked it out yet. Next up, Black Sister's Revenge. This was like two bucks. Uh, Black Exploitation. know nothing about it. But it's from uh, 1976. Right in the heyday. Should be fun. Black Sister's Revenge. Cheerleaders. Code Red. Um, I didn't pick this up when it was first released, but then I, I literally found this in a secondhand store. Which uh, finding a Code Red Blu-ray in an Australian secondhand store is, I don't know, like finding a live pig or something. It's just not going to happen. And it did. So that was fate. So I picked it up. I actually have the uh, Video Drome DVD of this one. So. I am familiar, and uh, I can see the uh, TNA in HD. Wonderful. Secret of the Andes. Oh, my, oh, my. David Keith, John Rice Davis, Nancy Allen from Robocop. This looks craptacular, late 90s Cinetel film, probably made for the Sci-Fi Channel, and, um, yeah, that's about all I know. Obviously, it's designed to look like Indiana Jones ripoff. But, um... Yep, again, a couple of bucks. I will give it a bash. I won this as a prize. Aren't I lucky? Uh, the new Umbrella release of Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja. Cat and Classics double. Umbrella's really lifting their game in the last two years. Um, getting some good stuff out here that we've never had. Um, 
and it's uh, yeah, it's all in the one disc. And if you so desire, you can flip the covers to have Enter and then Revenge showing uh, the original poster art. But in this instance, I think I will leave the uh, the double showing. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, this one I picked up today. I was in a market and just going through a uh, a stand full of completely obvious bootleg DVDs. There was this thing, which is a German um, horror from twenty, like twenty ten or so, I think. Uh, yeah, twenty ten. Uh, a Swiss German horror film um, about uh, these three guys that um, construct a girl out of straw to uh, do the housework. But <laughs> that's, that's the summary I got from IMDb. So I'm going in fairly blind. I paid five bucks at a local Australian market for a German Blu-ray with uh, English subtitles, which is amazing to me, so I will definitely give this one a go. I would try to say the name, but I would brutalise it, so I won't. So just, that's the name of the film. And this one picked up from uh, the charity store. The Professional, also called Golgo 13, a uh, 80s anime, which... Um, Yep, I don't know anything about, so looks pretty cool. That's a movie, anime movie, not a series. Um, Rated right R, that's pretty cool. I kind of hope it's uncut. Um, some of the Madman DVD releases were cut, so hopefully it is uncut. And the last thing in this pile is the Fortune Star Joy Sales edition of Chinese Ghost Story Trilogy. And... Um, this was sitting in my eBay watch list for quite some time. It's been out of print for about 10 years. Um, oh, there they are. Three movies there. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to get them all out, but there you go. The three films in the series in uh, proper aspect ratio with uh, proper audio options, as you would expect from a Joy Sales release. Um... It's interesting, there is another release with a very similar cover um, that was not put out by Joy Sales, uh, but um, that, that one is a slightly fancier box with a scroll in it. Um, but I'm very happy to have this edition, and uh, I finally get to check these ones out because they're renowned for being quite good um, yeah, supernatural uh, Hong Kong films. So that's a Chinese Ghost Story Trilogy. But the Hong Kong fun doesn't end there. I got this pile of um, martial arts, cheap martial arts dubbed films from the UK. They cost me very little. Um, I somehow managed to combine uh, three eBay uh, coupons, which was amazing, to get this down to a stupidly low price. And, um, yep, they are just all 70s and 80s uh, kung fu classics. So we get Bruce L.E. in The Super Gang. We get Strike of the Thunder Kick, Tiger. How awesome are these titles? Snake Strikes Back. These are all Hong Kong Connection, as you probably realized already. Silver Dragon Ninja. All starring various versions of uh, Bruce Lee, spelt differently. Shaolin, The Blood Mission. Secret Executioners. That's a great photo. Ninja Killer. This one is actually hilarious. It's got Bolo Young in it. Good old Bolo. Dragon Lee. Mission for the Dragon. Awesome. Marsh Marshall Monks of the Shaolin Temple. That is a pretty cool drawing. Look at all those scars. Killers, Invincible. Amazing. I'm going to have a lot of fun sitting down with some beer and popcorn with all this. Five Fingers of Steel. They'll break your neck. <laughs> like, I'm all for having correct aspect ratio and subtitles, but sometimes these Hong Kong films are good fun to watch in VHS or Vision. Though these are actually pretty sharp prints, considering, and uh, dubbed. They can just be a lot of fun. Dragon Lee and the Dragon the Young Master. The Dragon, the Hero. With John Liu and Dragon Lee. All variations on a Bruce Lee name. 
That's what they call this Bruce Bloitation. The dragon from Shaolin. It's a few dragons so far and a few Shaolins. And lastly, Bruce Lie in Deadly Strike. Fantastic. Yep. So that's the update this time. I hope you all enjoyed.